In this first joke of the day, we bring you a father that is having a very good time with his two-year-old daughter. This father was left alone with his two-year-old daughter while his wife went out shopping. As this is the cutest time of their lives, she said, Tea, Daddy. Tea. The daughter went upstairs and brought down a small tea set that she got for birthday, poured her father some water into a small cup, and gave it to him. She then said, Drink, Daddy. Drink. This game went on for about an hour, while Daddy drank all of the tea which his cute daughter poured him to drink. As the mother got back, the father said, Quickly, sit down, sweetheart. Let me show you how cute our daughter is. His daughter poured him another cup of water, and Daddy drank it to show Mommy just how nice the two of them played. His wife got a grin on her face and said, I know you had a lot of fun, and you think this is very cute, but you understand that she is only two years old. Where do you think she get the water from? She can only reach into the toilet. <laughs> In the following joke, we bring you a wife that have spent too much on her credit card, money and our lovely wives, such rough waters to sail over. This businessman got home one evening and shouted at his wife. I just looked at your credit card account. What did you spend all this money on? Things will have to change. What do you mean? How are we going to change things? Well, you will have to learn to clean the house by yourselves. Then we won't need a maid anymore. Is that your only concern? No, it's not. If you learn to make proper food, then we will also not need a chef anymore. The wife got a grin on her face, and then she said, Well, in that case, you will have to learn how to please a woman. Then we don't need a gardener as well. <laughs> in the next joke, we warn you not to laugh at your wife. These two guys were sitting in a bar, having a chat about the effect of science on their lives. The first guy, being very pro-scientist, said, Science is so good today. It can make us live much longer. Well, I can tell you that it's just not true. History has shown us that the better we live and the better we look after our health, the longer we will live. It has nothing to do with those stupid scientists. So, they went forward and backwards with different theories about life when they stumble onto the effects of laughing on our bodies. The first guy then said, Science has shown us that if we can laugh at our own mistakes, then we will live longer. The second guy thought for a short bit, and then he had a light bulb moment. He said, That might be true, but science has also shown us that if we can learn to laugh at your wife's mistakes, then we will most definitely live a shorter life. <laughs> In the next joke, we bring you a blonde that have some issues at the library. Do you still go to the library, or do you also get everything from Amazon? Well, this blonde stormed into the library looking very angry. She went to the librarian and said, I am very angry. I have a complaint. The librarian, looking up at this crazy blonde, politely said, And how can I help you today? Well, you see, I borrowed a book last week and it was horrible. The librarian, puzzled by her complaint, keeps her calm then asks, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you please tell me what was wrong with the book? Well, it had too many characters. There was no plot and it was way too long. And above all, too many advertisements. The librarian thought for a few seconds, then got a grin on her face and said, I see. So you are the lady that took the telephone book. <laughs> the next joke is a valuable lesson to all of the husbands. It teaches you what to do if the wife is too lazy to do the homework. Frank and Mike were sitting in the pub having a beer. When the conversation swung to their wives, Frank said, my wife is so lazy, I work all day while she is at home. Then I still do most of the cleaning work in the house when I come home from work. I just don't know what to do anymore. Mike took a sip of his beer and said, I feel your pain. I have been there but not anymore. Oh no, I got that one sorted. Frank was now very eager to hear what Mike did to fix his situation. So he asked, So, Mike, what is your secret? How did you get her to do the homework? You see, Frank? My wife hates cockroaches. One day she saw this cockroach in the kitchen and screamed at me to kill it. So I did. So how did that solve the problem? Well, Frank, after this, 
She spring cleaned the kitchen, repacked the cupboards and sanitized everything. The very next day, I put that rubber cockroach in the bathroom. <laughs> the following joke is about a wife that is going on a business trip to Italy. This husband's wife was going on a business trip to Italy. He took her to the airport to drop her off for her flight. His wife then said, Honey, is there anything I can bring you back from Italy? The husband jokingly told his wife, An Italian girl. We'll be nice, thank you. As the husband picked her up from the airport after her business trip, he jokingly asked, And what about the present I asked for? Which present are you talking about? Don't tell me you forgot about the Italian girl I asked for. The wife got a grin on her face and then she said, Well, you will have to wait for nine months to see if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> In the upcoming joke, two very old ladies are going for an afternoon drive. Two old ladies went for a drive on a Saturday afternoon. Neither of them could really see that well anymore. The passenger thought to herself, I am sure Mildred just drove through that red light. Can't see that well, but it looked like it. A few minutes later, they drove through another red light. This time, the passenger thought, Oh my goodness. She just went through another red light. Looked like it. Okay, let's focus now. We'll be very alert. Now at the third intersection, the passenger was very alert and they drove through another red light. She shouted, Eldred, you have just driven through three red lights. Old Mildred looked very surprised and said, Oh dear, so am I driving. <laughs> in the next joke, we show you what two blondes do when they lock their car keys in the car. Two blondes were exiting a restaurant when they discovered to their horror that they locked their keys in their car. The one blonde says to the other, What do we do? Do we get a coat hanger and pick the lock? The second blonde think for a moment, and then she replied, No, we can't do that. People will think we're trying to break into the car. The first blonde also think for a moment, and then said, I think we should then get a knife to cut the rubber. Then we can pop the lock. Once again, the second blonde think for a moment before she answers, No, we cannot cut the rubbers. People will think we're too stupid to use the coat hanger. The first blonde is now getting very nervous and said, Well, we better think of something quick because it's starting to rain and the sunroof is open. <laughs> the next joke is about a very wealthy art collector. A New York lawyer, representing a very wealthy art collector, went to see his client. Sir, I have some good news for you and I have some bad news for you. The art collector replied, I've had a bad day so far. So I think I want to hear the good news first. The attorney then said, Well, I met with your wife this morning, and she informed me that she has two pictures, for which she paid $5,000. She thinks it will bring in a minimum of $20 million. I think she could be right. The wealthy art collector replied enthusiastically, I did not expect that of my wife well done to her. She has become a brilliant businesswoman. You've just made my day. Now I can handle the bad news. What is it? The attorney with a grin on his face then replied, The pictures are of you in bed with your secretary. Your wife needs a divorce. <laughs> in our next joke, this guy have a beautiful blonde wife that think he is working too hard. A married couple wakes up one morning and while still lying in bed, the beautiful blonde wife turns to her husband and says, Maybe you shouldn't go to work today. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go to work today? I think you've been working too hard, so maybe instead of going to the office, you should take a few days off, pack a suitcase, and go stay with a friend for a few days away from home. The husband thought for a moment and decided to jump at the suggestion before it disappeared. Within moments, he was up, dressed, and started packing clothes into a bag. He then asks his wife, Just out of curiosity, how did you come to the conclusion that I've been working so hard, that I need a break? You were dreaming about your work all night. Really? How do you know I was having dreams about work? Because every two minutes, you were shouting your secretary's name. <laughs> In our last joke of the day, 
this wealthy businessman give the parish a speech on how he became so wealthy. This Sunday at church, the wealthiest man in town stood up and asked to address the congregation. Just make it quick, John. John acknowledges his time limitation and after clearing his throat started with his story. I can still recall the day when I earned my first dollar. That same evening, I attended a church meeting where the speaker talked about his humanitarian efforts. At that moment, I had only that single dollar to my name and I had to make a tough decision. John had the congregation hanging on every word and continued with his story. Give my last dollar to the speaker's cause or keep it for myself. I chose to donate it all and I truly believe that God blessed that decision, which is why I am a millionaire today. John just finished his story and had tears running down his face when an old lady from the back shouted, Oh yay, I dare you to do it again today for an old lady.